Hello and welcome friends. Now let's discuss about chain base index number or chain base method of selecting base year. In case of fixed base method, we select a base year and then keep it fixed for some years. Now in case of chain base index number, base year is not kept fixed but while calculating index number or the index number is calculated with reference to the previous year or previous period. When we calculate the index numbers for every year with reference to the preceding years, every year the base year will be the previous year. So if the current year change, base year automatically change. For 2008, 2007 was base year, for 2009, 2008 becomes base year, something like that. Instead of any fixed base year, it is called chain base method. Thus, while calculating the index number, the previous year is taken as base year. And according to that logic, chain base index number for any year will be value for the current year divided by value for the previous year and multiplied by 100 to get the percentage. This shows the change as compared to the previous year. So if we use chain base index number, it will show us the change as compared to the previous period only, not as compared to any fixed base. Let's try to understand this thing through an example. We have data about profit in million rupees of a company for the period from the year 2014 to 2019 and we want to know that what happened with profit every year as compared to its previous year only. So for every year the previous year will be the base year. Yes for 2015-2014 will be base year for 2016-2015 will be base year for 2017-2016 will be base year for 2018-2017 becomes base year and for 2019-2018 becomes base year. So a chain of base years can be seen there. That's why it is called chain base index numbers. Okay. Now as usual the index number for the first year of the data is taken as 100 because there is no base year for that or the year itself is base year. So it is 100, but for 2015, 2014 will be base year. So index number will be 45 divided by value of previous year 40 into 100. Yes, for second year, the first year becomes the base year. Okay, so it is 112.5. So the interpretation is as compared to 2014 in 2015, the profit increased by 12.5%. If you, we subtract 100 from the index number, the difference is rate of change as compared to the base year. If the difference is positive, it shows increase or growth. If the difference is negative, it shows the decrease. Now, in 2016, profit for current year is 48. Profit for base year will not be taken as 40. This is not fixed base method. This is chain base method. So for 2016-2015 becomes the base year. So profit of 2015 will be the denominator. Profit of 2016-48 divided by profit of 2015-45 all into 100. It comes to 106.67. 106.67 yes okay so as compared to 2015 in 2016 profit increased by 6.67 percent so we can say that the growth rate has decreased in 2015 the profit increased by 12.5 percent in 2016 the profit increased by 6.67 percent but as compared to the previous year not as compared to 2014 the first year or the fixed base yes my dear in 2017 the profit is 55 divided by 48 because for 2017 2016 will become the 
previous year, rather be easier. It comes to 114.58. Okay. Please keep two decimal places. So in 2017, profit increased by 14.58% as compared to 2016. Now in 2018, 2017 will become the base year. And it comes to 109.09. So in 2018 profit increased by 9.09% as compared to 2017. In 2019 profit was 70. In 2018 profit was 60. Yes, so sixth portion has increased 116.67. So in 2019 the jump was the highest. Profit increased by 16.67% as compared to the profit in 2018. Thus, every year the base year changes. We change the base year every year. Every year, the preceding year or previous year is taken as base year. So, index number shows the percentage as compared to the previous year. Yes, now I think you are able to understand the difference between fixed base and chain base. Both have their utilities, both have their merits and limitations, but we are not going to discuss all these theoretical point in our lectures. We are mainly going to focus on calculations. I hope my lectures are proving useful to you in understanding. There are so many other lectures on other topics on statistics and other subjects also. Don't forget to visit my channel. Do like my lectures, do subscribe my channel and do recommend my channel and my lectures to all your friends and others. That's it. Thank you very much.